Hello good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky Karen. Today I will take you step by step on how to make pumpkin soup. I mean the yummiest pumpkin soup. So you will start by having your pumpkin, pumpkin of your choice. I just realized the different types of pumpkins that was my choice. So get to wash it. This one I had already washed, so just uh, rinse it to remove any any dust particles on it. I proceeded to cut it into half first. it so that you can remove uh, the seeds and the middle part of the pumpkin actually those are, that's the only part that we don't get to use in the pumpkin so once you get your herbs uh, separate it into smaller sizes so that you're able to remove the seeds properly and in my case I do not throw away the seeds I'm gonna make another video of how to use the seeds uh, so here we'll just remove the seeds and I'm going to remove them from the, the middle part and separate it as I do this my oven is heating I'm heating my oven at uh, 200 degrees Celsius So we've removed the seeds and we have our small parts of the pumpkin. I will proceed to uh, apply my ginger and garlic paste and also I will, I will sprinkle a bit of uh, onion powder just to give it a flavor. Just give it the flavor, onion flavor. Yeah, I'm sprinkling the onion powder. Then I go in with my ginger garlic paste. Apply a generous amount of uh, ginger garlic for the lovers of ginger and garlic. So on the side I've prepared the tray, the baking tray, and I've placed a baking sheet on the baking tray so that it doesn't stick. Uh, when the pumpkin is cooking, it's going to produce a bit of water, so I don't want that to stick on the baking pan. So I put on the baking sheet, that's where I'm going to place my pumpkins. Lying generously, ginger garlic paste. Next, I will place the pumpkins on the tray in readiness to bake them. I choose to bake because it gives it the, the nutty taste because you're going to eat even the skin. So I bake the whole the whole um, pumpkin in close of the skin, and when I blend it, I'm gonna blend including the skin. There, everything is ready to go to the oven. I sprinkle some salt, also to add a bit of flavor. There we go with our salt. A bit of oil. 
because we're not going to add oil once it's ready so just a bit of oil to make it tasty you can choose to use olive oil or vegetable oil I used vegetable